Good morning and welcome to the Etsy virtual event on boosting the impact of research and innovation through standardization. I'm Guy Daniels and joining me now from Germany is Markus Mürk, Vice Chairman of the Etsy Board. Markus is a Principal Engineer with Intel Deutschland and also a member of the Board of the 5G Automotive Association. Welcome Markus, thank you very much for joining us. Let us talk about research and innovation in Etsy. Is this an important area for Etsy as we move forward? Definitely, and thank you very much for the question. So Etsy is really at the forefront of technology. And as such, research and innovation is the lifeblood um, of our work, uh, so to say. It is, it is therefore really in Etsy's interest to have close ties and interaction with the research and innovation um, community in order to ensure that uh, new technology is continuously fed into our organization and will uh, finally translate into state-of-the-art um, products that go to the next uh, stage and do the next step towards the next level of technology. Well, let me take the perspective of a researcher. What do I need to do to bring my work into Etsy? Excellent question. So we have obviously anticipated that kind of uh, question and have um, collected a number of uh, tools in order to support uh, researchers and research organizations. In particular, Etsy has created an eight points plan which um, guides researchers in a step-by-step -step approach from uh, the technical work to uh, influencing uh, standards. And in principle, this works very, very uh, easily. The first step is uh, that, that you should be aware of the type of technology you would want to bring into Etsy. Then you get in touch uh, with the Etsy secretariat and here you, you see an email address uh, that, that can be used for that. And, uh, and then finally, you, uh, you will be guided by Etsy towards uh, the right uh, technical body or Etsy will even help you to create uh, a, a, new, a new technical body. And um, in, in the last stage, you will need to set up a work item. And that again is quite simple and straightforward. You need the support um, of four Etsy members in total and having this support, uh, off you go. The work is on and active. So the process looks clear and simple, but before starting any new work, would it make sense for me as a researcher to engage with Etsy to first discuss ideas and opportunities? Yes, definitely. And again, very good question. So I think as we just uh, saw the first port of call uh, would really be to get in touch uh, with the secretariat. Uh, another possibility is to have uh, a closer look at uh, further material uh, that is available um, on the Etsy portal. And here I um, would like really to guide you to the webpage uh, www.etsy.org slash research, where a number of uh, leaflets, uh, general information, the eight points plan we just saw, etc., are made available. Um, in a second step, I would recommend to uh, look at the Etsy events portal. Etsy has uh, regular events, which gathers a huge number of uh, standards experts, industry in general, and uh, also researchers and innovators. And this is a, a great framework actually to uh, get in touch with the community, to uh, get to know like-minded people, to get to know uh, where to find support, in particular to find these uh, four supporting members I was, just, I was just mentioning. And yeah, and once you are inside uh, the community, I believe it will be quite uh, simple and straightforward to get your work started. Right, I'm going to leave my researcher persona for now because I was never the best undergraduate physicist. Um, are there any examples of new technologies that are under consideration for future work by Etsy? Brilliant question again, thank you very much. So Etsy has indeed been reaching out to research organizations in order to get a better understanding on where we are with respect to new upcoming technologies. Uh, one brilliant example is our recent exchange with the NetWorld 2020 European Technology Platform. 
Um, Network 2020 has indeed identified uh, around about 100 uh, technology directions as, as we move forward over the next couple of years. Etsy has been taken up these technology directions and has been mapping those to Etsy's technical bodies. So as a result, we have a quite comprehensive overview on which of these technology directions would fit into the scope of which uh, technical committee or industry specification group. So this could be a, a great basis for newcomers and uh, I mean, researchers and innovators in general in order to identify the specific topics they are interested in, have a hint and pointer to the right uh, technical committee and the right chairman. And I am uh, absolutely certain that the chairman as well as the Etsy secretariat would uh, be available to help you in uh, getting uh, in touch with the related uh, organization and to get your work fed into um, an upcoming standard. And Marcus, from what you've just said, it's very clear that Etsy cares about and values researchers and innovators. Do you have any examples of how such relationships have already proved successful? Yes, uh, I definitely have. And let, let me um, explain uh, a bit of background information to you. Um, a couple of years ago, um, the European Commission had uh, funded um, some highly successful research programs, which were called E2R and eCube. So these were about end-to-end -end reconfigurability and end-to-end -end efficiency. And uh, these projects have actually developed uh, the basis for work that has finally been fed uh, into Etsy. And, and here, let me just take the uh, opportunity to give a wave of hands to my former colleague, Didier Bus, who has been uh, passionately driving uh, these research programs. And um, as an outcome, Etsy has finally decided to create a, a technical committee, which was called RRS, so Reconfigurable Radio Systems. This committee was uh, building on the work by E2R and eCube and uh, was further developing and driving uh, the technology with support of um, key industrial stakeholders. So at this point in time, uh, some success stories of this committee include the definition of the European flavor of spectrum sharing, which is called LSA, so Licensed Shared Access, or ELSA, um, Evolved Licensed Shared Access. This is a flavor we are currently working on. And um, moreover, um, RRS is currently um, supporting Etsy's role in uh, the European Commission expert group on the radio equipment directive, so the RED. And uh, here we are indeed uh, going to further evolve um, some of the RED articles that are required for product market introduction in Europe. And RRS is in particular involved in solutions that relate to the combination of software and hardware. So again, uh, very relevant work, uh, which is uh, supporting uh, the European Commission in implementing new uh, policy frameworks um, in the context of the RED. All very encouraging indeed. And any final advice for our audience, Marcus? What's your parting message for researchers? Very well. So I believe the message to give is that Etsy's door are wide open to researchers and research organizations and I mean, innovators uh, in, 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 in general. Please come and see us, please talk to us, and uh, we will be very willing to help you uh, get your work into Etsy, into the right committees, and we are very much looking forward to, to meeting you in Etsy. Thank you very much, Marcus, and we'll be speaking with you again in just a moment during our panel session. Now, over the next two days, we have a full agenda of presentations, panels and interviews. Details and timings are on the website. And if you miss anything, don't worry, it will all be available to watch later on demand. 
Plus, we will be taking your questions during a live Q&A session at the end of each day, and you can submit your questions now. No need to wait for that program to begin. So stay with us for our next session, a panel discussion featuring today's speakers, which will address the research, innovation and standards ecosystem in Etsy. Goodbye for now.